hi everyone and welcome back and here we are with another question from hacker rank so this question will help you to understand these problem statement coming from hacker rank for full stack interview positions so here this is another question and we will first go through the readme file we will go through the instructions properly what need to be done there is already a partial code written for this and we will just try to just see how we can write that logic to achieve and there are already test cases are written our objective is to just satisfy all those test cases and get all these things done from the animation i think you are able to see what we need to do these are just three different buttons we just need to toggle and get things done there are some random labels are coming and those labels are coming i think from index.js we have the slide text so when you go to the next next title and uh, text should come similarly the next and previous until unless you reach to the last one if you are reaching to the last one i think then this next should disable right if you are reaching to the first one then the previous should be disabled let's go through this so the slide component takes an array of slide as a props that we already have in index.js on the application launch the first slide will render on clicking on to the next button next slide will come on the previous previous slide will come clicking on to the restart button will return to the first slide so these are the core features which we have to implement for our assignment right these we don't need to touch okay because these are there for satisfying the test cases whatever we are rendering here so these tags should already be there like h1 paragraph tag where we are rendering the text and labels if we just see this slide component we can see h1 and paragraph tag and these are the three buttons we have based on these three buttons these this text should change okay so let's see it should be fairly simple than our previous exercise so what we are doing here is we have a slide component which our app.js is rendering okay these slides we are getting from index.js here we are passing them this is our app component we got slides we are passing it okay so these are the different slides right and when you click on next and previous what we just need to switch is the active slide that's it this is this should be our logic we have an array we just need to decide which what is the active index of an array we just need to show the title of that array in the our slide component okay so how we can do it we are using the functional component so we can uh, just use these uh use state use effect hooks okay so let, let's say we have some kind of a counter so when you are doing a previous next we will just play around with this counter okay so we are already passing the slides so we can just pass all the different props here okay when you so here we have these different buttons right next previous and restart let's first go to our child component and see what logic they should hold okay so when you click on the previous we should be just uh, passing the the previous slide we should be showing the previous slide right so what we can do here is in app.js we can have one current slide okay current slide is can be a state variable right so current slide which we are passing so current slide can be okay the current slide is zero okay then we have these different different uh, functions which we need to handle and this is the counter right what we need to do is whenever this child component is clicking on to this previous next and restart button we just need to reset the count right so these are nothing but the methods callback methods from the child component so let's say uh, next okay this is my approach there may be another solutions different way to handle this what we just need to do is set count we can call and we can increase the count with plus one right similarly there is a previous where we will just to counter minus one and we have a restart these are the three buttons we have so in restart we just need to set our current slide to the zero 
to set count we can just move it to zero whatever the current state is that's it so we are passing all these three four property slides restart next previous and current slide so current slide will do a lot of things current slide what's wrong here okay so now we just need to use this in our child component we are getting slides now we are getting a lot of other props current slide next previous and we have a restart also now we just need to write on click here on click this is previous which we are already getting from the parent component and when you click on it we need to just call this we just need to send this method to the parent component this is next next previous and this is our restart okay meanwhile we'll just see how it is working currently okay so these are three buttons now we have the counter so counter is holding the current slide when you click on previous next only the counter is getting increased and decreased now we also have a requirement of disabling the buttons if you are on the last index we don't want to increase that further right so if your current slide we want to disable this right so you can just do it simply using disabled you want to disable this button when when current slide is at zero right current slide is at zero and you want to disable the next button when you are at the last slide which is you can say slide start length and now we know the current slide so we have the slides array we can get the values from there so here let's say if we have slides array slides and current slide if this is not null obviously it's not null but we can do a safe check here slides current slide dot title there are two properties title and text we are going to get so this is the title and this is the text similarly we can get text here now i think all we are almost done here we are clicking onto the restart button so restart button should also be disabled when we are on the current slide if the current slide is zero i mean we are at the uh, first slide then it should be disabled and when you click on to this we are already having this restart button so we should be going here format this leave everything oh that's good so next okay this is not disabled restart first one is disabled now restart is enabled i think this is pretty much what we want so we can run the test and we can push this code to hit uh, to hacker rank once we are done so let's try to run the test cases and we can also again go through this are we achieving the same thing which this problem statement is asking for Okay, so let's uh, NPM run test just to see if we are good and then we can push it. So these test case it will execute against our code. It also has some mock data. okay so these this is how you need to identify first you go through the readme file read the problem statement see what all code already written most of the component code is written you just need to focus on writing the logic which is all about data passing and event handling managing the state and just re-rendering re-rendering the component in angular it's the same thing you will be just passing the data from one component to another component and dealing with that so now you can see our test cases are passing so that's well and good so we are done with the second exercise for react on hacker rank okay next we can look for angular one question and then node.js okay thanks everyone